This is a Chimei Duoji, a postman delivering mail through snow-capped mountains with an average altitude of 3,500 meters above sea level in Sichuan Province. As a team leader, he speaks to his team members every morning to ensure everyone is well prepared for a long trip. Chimei Duoji began to work as a postman in 1989. Over a decade after China began its reform and opening up policy, but even then, the remote and mountainous areas where he delivered the mail were still isolated. People of his profession played a crucial role in maintaining communication between rural and urban areas. At the beginning of the reform and opening up, there were few communications between high plateau areas like Gaz and the eastern urban areas, so it served as a link between them. We also delivered personal letters and money in rural areas because some workers sent money to their families in envelopes. Chimei Duoji and his colleagues were always ready for unexpected challenges, especially for the snow and ice in winter. He and his partners had to equip the tires with non-skid chains. Chimei Duoji suffers from snow blindness and has to wear sunglasses. But for him, the harshest thing has never been the bad natural conditions, but being away from his family, especially during Chinese New Year. We had a saying that there were only eagles in the sky and postmen on the roads during Chinese New Year. Others were having reunions with their families, but we were on the road. But thinking about people's smiles and happiness when they received mail or necessities made me happy too, and I never quit this job. Chimei Duoji says, even though he was absent from family reunions during Chinese New Year for years, his family understood and supported him a lot, which also gave him the faith to continue the job. And over the past 33 years, he has been impressed not only by the increasing variety of packages, but by the development of roads and traffic system in Gansu Tibetan Autonomous Prefecture. There were no ask for roads, no highways, and no tunnels. Our party and central government supported us hugely over the past decades. Now we have highways, tunnels, and airports. And our vehicles are getting bigger, from one that weighs four tons to twelve tons. I'm really impressed and feel privileged to have witnessed such development. The good traffic system now also allows Chimei Duoji to send necessities to the residents who were affected by the earthquake in September. But he and his partners still serve an important role in delivering mail to remote areas. As a delegate of the 20th CPC National Congress. He says he wants to share with other delegates about the developments in Gansu Tibetan Autonomous Prefecture.